Hey guys, it's Zach. Um, I've been blogging about my training for the Jeremiah Bishop Grand Fondo and um, figured we'd do a video blog real quick just to, to mix it up a little bit um, instead of writing a post. So I want to talk about a kind of a post ride follow up from a training ride that I went up and did uh, last weekend with Jeremiah Bishop. Um, we took off on Friday and drove up to Harrisonburg, Virginia. It's a really nice, pretty, scenic view, um, good drive. Um, got up there, got to the hotel, kind of did some pre-ride work on the bike, swapped some tires out and made sure everything was shifting right and everything was ready to go for the next day. Um, then we drove over to uh, the local chop house and met with Jeremiah Bishop and uh, some other riders that were going to be doing the ride with us the next day and had some good food and told some stories and shared some jokes and had some jovial laughs and it was a, it was a blast, it was a lot of fun. We're here in the bike capital of Virginia for a little bit of training prior to the Alpine Loop Grand Fondo and we're uh, going to get some food here but obviously a lot of people use bikes to get around Harrisonburg and this is part of the student population. This is my beater bike. Yeah, <laughs> um, got a good night's rest, got up super early, uh, we met at Mr. J's Bagels in the uh, parking lot there and um, got ready and Jeremiah you know, kind of gave us a preview of the day and you know, told us what to expect and what was going to happen and then we rolled out, headed through some really pretty Amish country, um, just a nice rolling easy start until we got into the, the first climb of, uh, of four for the day. Um, it was a nice long, maybe like five or six mile climb, steady grade. Um, his wife Erin was at the top uh, to meet us with some, some good some goodies and had some good eats. And um, the descent after that was awesome. Um, really long descent, lots of gravel in the turns. It, it had recently been paved, so it was really fast, kind of sketchy. But um, having like kind of bigger tires running a lower pressure was really nice to have. Uh, made everything super cushy and super easy. Um, then we rolled through the countryside at the bottom of that, of that descent for a little while. Um, went into the second climb. It was a lot shorter, um, but a little bit steeper. And um, I kind of overexerted myself a little bit there, um, trying to pass some guys up to the top. But... Man, that's all sweat right there. I'm going up that steep climb. It was a lot shorter than the first one. But man, it was like twice as steep. A good 15% pitches at the end. Didn't finish first, didn't finish last though. Sticking to my goals, two down. Two or three more climbs to go, the big ones down the road after lunch. Right now it's time to go down. But um, got over it, went back down, and we had a, a third final and steady climb before, um, before our lunch break. And um, up that climb I started feeling some, uh, some nibbles as I call them. My legs started kind of feeling like they were gonna start cramping up and um, it was pretty worrisome and you know, sure enough, like a hundred yards before the lunch stop, I, uh, my legs started seizing up my hamstrings and my quads, and um, I started getting into trouble. And I was feeling pretty bummed out about it. Um, I felt like I had been hydrating all day, um, but I was, guess I was just losing so much salt I just couldn't replenish it fast enough. So uh, at the lunch stop, you know, I stretched out and um, ate some food and tried to drink as much as I could. And um, after lunch, we started on on the fourth and final descent up uh, up Reddish Knob which was a 10 mile gravel climb, um, you know, lots of, lots of rocks and potholes and uh, really pretty scenery, but very shortly after the start of the climb, I started seizing up again and stopped, pulled over, and uh, Jeremiah hooked me up with some, uh, well, I call it a secret recipe, basically it was just the bottom of a, a bag of pretzels with tons of salt in it, and uh, dumped that in my water bottle, and he's like, alright dude, this is going to make you want to vomit. And if it does make you vomit, then maybe it's a little bit too strong. But otherwise, it should be the most disgusting, vile crap that you've ever had in your life. I just... Well, the GoPro died, so I think we're halfway through Reddish um, on a descent. And this ain't no joke. <laughs> this is for real. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. It's awesome. I've been fighting cramps all day. <clears throat> um, not all day, but for the last 15 miles or so. And I feel like I'm getting over it. Jeremiah gave me some home remedies that was pretty sweet, but almost make you want to puke. But uh, they seem to be working, so um, all is well. Um, after about three or four miles, everything kind of uh, worked its course, and I felt really fresh. And you know, the last maybe five or six miles of reddish, I felt really strong, and 
rode hard and made it to the top um, without a, any problem after that. Uh, Here I am at the top of Reddish Knob. Um, it's like a just under 10 mile gravel climb. Um, uh, started off really hard with uh, some cramping and some other issues, but Jeremiah's secret recipe, man. It kicked in about halfway through and um, started feeling awesome and just attacked and rode really strong the second half. Um, now I'm up top here, spin this around here. Pretty much a 360 view from the other side of the parking lot and man, this is what it's all about, you know? This is why we ride. Um, hung out up top and, and then um, had a really fun fast descent, maybe like a 15 mile descent down into town and it started raining on us and getting sloppy and um, it was a, it was a blast so um, cruise back into town and um, you know the last maybe five miles or a few rollers with maybe four you know little kickers so to speak and even though I'm cooked here my eyes like all right man it's time to do some muscular endurance training so put it in the big ring baby no small ringing it up these last four hills so you know I did it and it hurt. <laughs> By the time I got back to the uh, uh, parking lot, I was totally cooked. I was totally done, but uh, it was a All right, so everything's done. Everything's a wrap. I uh, crushed myself. It hurt, um, as you guys all know. Um, so you've got Jeremiah here. Uh, based on what you saw, you know, I'm a 200 pound guy. I got three weeks. What do you think? How'd I do? I think you did great. Uh, I think if you can't avoid the cramping issues, you'll be golden. As you can see that after the cramps subsided, you're able to get back on the gear. So some easier gears, a little bit of work on muscular endurance, uh, which shouldn't be uh, too tough because today is really going to count towards the, the way you're going to feel in a couple yeah, weeks. You'll be, uh, you'll be fit for it. There's no doubt in my mind. You'll make it. Awesome. Well, hey, thanks a lot for hosting the ride. We really appreciate it. <laughs> you got See you in a few weeks. All right. It was a blast. Uh, it was a great ride. Got some good tips from Jeremiah um, during the ride. Um, he was a pleasure to ride with. And the Grand Fondo, the final event, is in three weeks. And uh, we're going to tack on another 30 miles and another 3,000 feet of climb into what, what I did last weekend. So it's going to be super hard, but I'm feeling really good about it, uh, working out my cramp issues, and um, looking forward to success. So. Thanks for tuning in.